So we're gonna be taking a look at a interesting printer today. It's an Epson printer and it's available from thinkpenguin.com. This is uh, the Epson photo printer, GNU Linux edition, TPE EPS 400. Uh, basically this printer is unusual in that it actually works with free software which means that you don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to work or whether it's going to work tomorrow when you go to upgrade from one release to the next. It will work for with everything from Triscoll to Ubuntu to Fedora, uh, and it works very, very well. Um, this is one of probably the best printers, honestly, I've ever seen when it comes to photos. But then again, that is what it's designed to do. So uh, we're going to take a look at printing a 4x6 photo on this printer. Uh, just to uh, give a little demonstration of its capabilities. Um, it is very lightweight. Uh, it is definitely uh, portable. So you could definitely take this to, I don't know, a conference or uh, some event if you if you have a need to travel. Um, it's definitely a great little application. And it, it will absolutely work with programs like GIMP or the GNU Not Unix Image Manipulation Editor. That's a long one. <laughs> Um, most of these printers, photo printers on the market are not, uh, well supported. Um, they are dependent on proprietary drivers. So, um, and they may not work at all with, uh, GNU Linux or other free software distributions. So this is a definitely, uh, definitely the photo printer to get if you're on any GNU Linux distribution. All right. So let's go ahead and take a close up shot of this here real quick. And then um, let's go ahead and get ourselves into our computer here. And I will show you how to add the printer. It's very easy. So all you gotta do is go to your system administration section and printers. And it'll be a little bit different depending on your distribution, but it's roughly the same for most distributions out there. And this is a little bit different uh, because this is actually a driverless printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and add it. And I am actually connecting uh, via USB, but you still have to go to the network printer section because it basically picks it up as a uh, network printer because that's how driverless printer works, base, uh, driverless printing works. Um, all right, so we've got a, I'm not gonna print a test page because I don't even know what would happen. <laughs> But um, basically, it's, it's, we want to print a photo. So in theory, it should still print, but nonetheless. So I went ahead and I opened up a photo I wanted to print. And I've already got this. Uh, well, there's not really much to set up, but um, I opened up GIMP and I downloaded my photo. So this is a photo that I took at a, a conference. Or actually, it was more of a camping festival. So I'm going to go ahead to I'm gonna do a Control-P to open up my print dialog. And then I'm going to go to, let's see here, Page Setup. Make sure my four by six is selected. Make sure I have photo paper selected. And then um, I'm gonna change this to landscape. And then if I'm gonna go to my image settings and I'm going to go ahead and put in the width is six. So six by four, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I believe that's it. And I'm gonna go ahead and click print. Before I do that, I am just going to go ahead and give ourselves the paper, put the paper in. So the way this goes in is you stick it in like this. There is a little adjustment uh, piece right here that goes back and forth. Um, so you, it's already basically set to four by six, but nonetheless, um, okay, and then basically uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to my computer here and we're going to go ahead and print. And here we go. May take a second to get going. The th key thing that we get with this printer is very, very, very high resolution prints. This is not a low end 
you know, photo printer. I'll take a look at it coming out here. I don't think the video can do it justice. Um, it's just yeah, the colors and, and everything. Um, but basically, this is a very, very high quality resolution. It's it's blurry because of the camera, but um, basically, um, you can see very, very, very high res. Well, I can see anyway. <laughs> um, so there you go. And that's basically how you use the Epson photo printer that you can find at thinkpenguin.com. So definitely check that out when you get a chance. Um, and again, I will give you the model number. This is the TPE-EPS400. It's in the printer section, Epson Photo Printer GNU Linux Edition.